Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a writer here at Crutchfield, and today we're going to look at the Rotel RC1572 Mark II stereo preamplifier. I got a chance to take it home and listen to it for a few weeks, and I really enjoyed it, and I want to share that experience with you today. You may notice that the display is flickering in this video. That's an artifact of our camera usage, and it's not what you'll experience when you use this component. All of the Mark II components are upgrades to existing, very popular units that Rotel makes. And the Mark II upgrades are, they uh, put a new DAC into it. It's a Texas Instruments DAC. Uh, they've also improved some of the internal circuitry. They've made it rune ready, and they can now play MQA files, which are very high res digital files. One thing I like about all Rotel components is this very clean front panel. Uh, I really like the buttons. They have a nice tactile feel to them. Uh, they're easy to operate and they're laid out in a way that I find very intuitive. There's a convenient type A USB port on the front for plugging in your Apple device. And then there's a headphone jack as well, which I always like to have for times when you want to listen when other people are asleep, you don't want to disturb other people, uh, maybe even when you're working. Since this is a stereo preamplifier, then uh, you really want to make sure that you have lots of inputs and outputs. That's its main job is to allow you to plug in all of your sources and then pass the signal on to a power amplifier. So uh, this one has uh, four RCA unbalanced inputs, including a phono input for moving magnet cartridges, which is very important to me. I always want to make sure I can plug in my turntable. Uh, they've also got one uh, where you can plug in your CD player, your tuner, your aux, and then there are balanced XLR inputs uh, and outputs, which is very nice. That's the way you connect your audio file gear. It's uh, got superior noise rejection, and uh, it's a great way to plug in uh, some of your high-end gear, especially other Rotel pieces. Uh, and then for digital sources, you've got two coaxial digital inputs and two digital optical inputs. You can also plug in your computer and stream through the Type B USB. I typically like to use my wired sources, but for convenience and really very clear streaming, you can use the Bluetooth with Aptex, which is built into this Rotel piece. And it's very nice and convenient, but it also sounds great. For output, I did mention that they had XLR in. You also have that going out, so you can connect uh, to your power amp either with an unbalanced or a balanced connection. You also have two mono outputs where you can plug into a powered subwoofer. So some details that I experienced when I was working with this at home that I really liked was, uh, first of all, when you plug in a digital source and use it, uh, the display on the front automatically tells you kind of what sampling rate you're getting uh, and what you've connected. I really like that, uh, kind of lets you know what you can expect. I do like when using the remote, you can cycle through the menu very easily, and I find it very intuitive and easy to read. I know exactly what to expect when I get to each section of the menu. One of the things that you can do in the menu that I like is that you can do fixed uh, source inputs. You can change the volume level uh, of things that might be one thing is quieter than the other when you're listening to them one after the other. You can bring those all up to the same level based on how your system works. And when you first start out, the tone controls on this unit are set to flat response, but you can change the bass or treble response uh, if you find that that helps your listening experience. So with this as my source unit, I wanted to build a system around it that would work really well with it. Uh, so we had the RC1572 Mark II with a power amp made by Rotel, the RB1552, also a Mark II. To really put it all to the test, we hooked them up to some ELAC Carina BS243.4 bookshelf speakers. That gave me an opportunity to play some of my favorite analog music, from my record collection and also dig into the compact discs that I have carried around with me for the past three decades and uh, play them through the CD player. And I wanted to make sure that I had the signal path as pure as possible. So I did use the balanced connections. I used the XLR connections on the back of this machine to connect it to the power amplifier uh, to get superior noise rejection and uh, really make it sound as good as possible. And then I used a digital coaxial cable to connect the CD player to this stereo preamp because I did want to make sure that I was using the DAC that's in the preamp to get a good test of how that performs. So the strange thing about uh, assembling all of this audio gear is that you kind of want it to disappear once you're done. 
you just want to hear the music sounding exactly the way it was supposed to sound, the way that the artist intended. And that's something that I can say happens when you use this Rotel gear with a great pair of speakers. It really filled my room with uh, this really gripping, detailed sound. And something that I like to refer to when I say, what's the point of going for nicer equipment is the goosebump factor. You go from where you're just listening to music that you're familiar with and uh, kind of passively enjoying it to, wow, I'm hearing something I didn't hear before and it's making me feel something. And that's what a setup like this can do for you, starting with these Rotel pieces that are really the heart of the system. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us here or leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.